Okay, so we'll just gonna start this off. Can you just uh, introduce yourself? You know, tell us what you do in the band. I'm Spencer. I sing for Ice Nine Kills. Perfect. Where does the name Ice Nine Kills come from? There's a book by the author Kurt Vonnegut called Cat's Cradle, and in the book, there's this de deadly substance that, if it's placed in a body of water, it has the potential to freeze over the entire bodies of water that that body of water is connected to, and essentially freezing over their planet and destroying the world. Jeez. So that is called Ice Nine in that book. So we thought it would make a cool band name. Yeah, it does. So uh, you guys are on the Not Your American Idols tour right now. How's this going so far? It's actually only the second night. Uh, we started last night in Buffalo, New York, and today was the second show in Ottawa. And so far it's been great. Um, the crowd reactions for our set have been really strong, and kids are coming out wearing our shirts and singing the words, and you know, we can't really ask for too much yeah. more. That's perfect. Tell us about the Predator uh, Becomes the Prey. You know, it came out earlier this year. Um, tell us about, you know, like uh, your inspiration for the lyrics and everything. When we sat down to write the record, we knew that it was sort of a sequel to our previous record, which was called Predator. Yeah. And even before we released that EP, Predator, we knew that we wanted to follow it up with a full-length record, and we wanted to tie in the album title as well as the lyrical content. So basically the the album's lyrical theme is sort of reversing a situation where you're being preyed on or you're the you know something some force or something in your life is sort of out to get you and you reverse the situation so in essence the predator becomes the prey. Okay. Uh, what does the future hold for uh, Ice Night Kills? Hopefully, uh, we just keep going up and up. Uh, we've been at it for a long time, and this is what we love to do. We love playing music for kids who are inspired by our stuff, and you know, as long as we still love what we're doing and the music we're making, and kids come out to the shows, I don't know, I feel like we'll never stop. That's good. Uh, last time I saw you guys actually was when you came with We Came As Romans and Abandoned All Ships in 2012. Well, yeah, yeah, fall of uh, I yeah. think it was fall of 2012. Yeah, yeah, and uh, like you guys blew up since then. I Thank mean, the you. crowd is totally different. Like, yeah, you guys definitely improved too. Thanks, man. Um, so what's the most memorable Ice Nine Kills moment? Uh, you know, uh, show wise, tour wise, anything. You know, as a band, what's the most memorable thing? You can you can give me a couple if you can't. Just think yeah, I, th I think a few. Um, let me think. One is definitely playing the main stage at Warp Tour. We played uh, this this past summer was our first time doing the whole tour, yeah. and Kevin bumped us up to the main stage. I think about a week out of the tour, and it was just surreal being up there on the Warp Tour main stage. You know, I, I've gone to Warp Tour since I was you know yeah. 12 or 13 years old, and you know, to me making it was playing on the Warp Tour main stage. So to to be on that stage and look out and see the sea of people and not only to just be there but to see that you know there were there were Ice Nine Kills fans there yeah. and they were singing the words it was uh, it was you know not to sound cliche but it was really a dream come true yeah. alright that's perfect uh, tell us what your views are you know what drives this band uh, the main inspirations uh, what, what does Ice Nine Kills stand for Ice Nine Kills is really about the fans you know since the inception of the band they've always been the driving force and we constantly meet kids who tell us that our music has helped them get through really dark times in their lives and um, I think that that's really what this band is about you know not you know not, not our lyrics aren't necessarily the most positive in every song and you know in, in some situations they're you know violent imagery and stuff yeah. like that but for some reason um, our lyrics have proven to help kids. There's something about them that they, they feel connected to us as people and they feel connected to the songs and that's really what it's about. It's about inspiring people and improving people's day-to-day -day life whether it's you know just getting through a shitty day at school you know having them you know having us on your iPod or you know deeper problems like problems at home with your parents um, you know, domestic abuse, uh, just, you know, drug drug addiction, 
just in general getting you through the dark times in life and that's what that's what we're about perfect uh what would your ultimate goal be uh with the band uh if it hasn't been achieved yet and if it has then just tell us you know it might have been the, the warter thing you know we can yeah it's it's funny because of you know several years back i set goals for the band one was to you know be on a real record label have our cd in stores um have a shirt in hot topic you know, it's trite. It's, it's something like that sounds. It's really, it was really important to us. Oh well, yeah, no. Play a warp tour, and um, basically yeah. I mean, now that we've ahead. accomplished yeah. all of those goals, you know, a whole new set of goals, you know, have started to emerge. You know, I would. My main goal is to be able to do this for as long as possible, to stay relevant uh, in the music community, and you never really set, you know, lines for our sound. I want us to keep evolving and keep you know, constantly improving the quality of the music and the quality of the lyrics and um, even more so than ever the lyrical content is so important to us because we see it so constantly kids go to the you know go to the lengths of getting these lyrics tattooed on them yeah. forever you know across their chest on their neck you know everywhere on their hands so if our fans are, are, are willing to do that and put something that we've created on their body for life we need to make sure that this shit is amazing yeah so, for so sure, um for sure. that's definitely something we strive for to, to just have the best of the best of the best perfect what makes size nine kills different and why should people check you guys out i think one thing that we we really have experimented with which just comes from our love of it is really incorporating um, horror movie themes into our music and I, I know that's been done before to some extent but um, I, I feel like the way we do it is is a bit different than bands have done it in the past you know everything from our stage look um, you know depicting old horror movies to our merchandise to some of the lyrical content we we live and breathe horror movies you know since I was like eight years old I've always been obsessed with that kind of stuff and I think that's one thing that really sets us aside um, apart from from the pack, as well as um, a, a, to going back to the lyrical stuff, yeah. um, there are tons of great bands in this genre and you know the Warp Tour scene. But um, I feel like there are a lot of bands out there that don't really put enough time into the lyrical message and and being clever and you know using metaphors rather than being so literal. Yeah. Um, you know, a, a band that I really love that you know, is nowhere around our scene is a band like Brand New. Mm -hmm. I've always thought that their lyrics were great. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's a time and place to be very literal with music, but it's, it, to me, the, the best kind of um, songwriting, you know, has lyrics that make you think a little bit. It's not so right out there. It could yeah. mean a, a few different things. And just being, you know, clever and using tongue in cheek, and that's what that's what I'm all about. Perfect. Is there anything specific you'd like to talk about that I might have skipped, or uh, anything you'd want to tell people that are watching this interview? Anything we've skipped? That, you know, you might have... Yeah, I across. would just say, you know, if you're out there, give our record a chance. It's called The Predator Becomes the Prey. Uh, you can get it at Best Buy, on iTunes, and look out for us on tour till the end of time. Perfect. You heard the man. This is Ice Nine Kills. Thank you so much for watching. I'm fucking done with you! I'm fucking done!